my hair. It's all like, I tried to control it, but it didn't work. Okay. I'm gonna grab my whiteboard. Hi. <laughs> so today I'm gonna go over five different tips to help you be a better climber, to be able to read routes and climb your best. That's, yeah, that's, that's all the video is about. I'm also gonna make breakfast at the same time because I'm hungry. Sound good? Sweet. All right, so I'm gonna go over some vocab first. A route or route, I don't know why you call it route, those are on trees. A route is another name for the climb that you are doing. So like the specific path that you're taking to get to the top of the wall. So whether, if that's inside, then that's the colored holds that you're using, or if it's outside, then it's that specific boulder or mountain or whatever, okay? All right, secondly, beta is the fancy way of saying how you do a route. So how someone climbs it. So if someone puts their right hand on this hold and left hand on that hold and does this stuff, that's their own beta. Now, everyone can have their own beta and beta can be interchanged between people and like combined and stuff to find the best way for each individual person with their strengths and weaknesses to be able to accomplish the route, okay? All right, so now that we have the vocab out of the way, I'm going to give you the five tips that I, the whole video is about. All right, tip number one, to be able to climb the routes that you wanna climb. Take the time to actually look at your route before getting on the wall, okay? That's like the most crucial thing because I've seen so many people, they get on the wall without looking where the route goes or anything. And they'll be on the wall, they'll be on the hold, and their neck will be like this because they don't know where the holds are, you know? So you can save that time and energy instead of wasting it on the wall, trying to figure out what you're gonna do. Look at the route from the ground and figure out kind of a plan, like figure out your own beta that you think you should do on a route. Oh yeah, one more vocab word. Flash means that you finish a route on your first try. Okay, so keep that in mind. So at competitions, being able to take the time to look at your route beforehand and make sure that you have the best chance of trying to finish the route on your first try. Because every fall that you do, like every time you fall, then it could cost you the chance of winning, right? Because it deducts points. It, it either deducts points or if there's a tie, then someone who fell less than you could beat you. All right. So make sure to look at the route on the ground before you get on the wall and look at it from all angles. So if there's a hold right here, don't just look at it straight on, like go to the left side, go to the right side, lay on your back and look at it like upside down. Any other angles that you can see it can ensure that you can plan out like, oh, maybe maybe the right side of this hold is better than the left side. So when I'm gonna get on the wall and climb it, then maybe I'll shoot for the right side first, you know? Because I think it's better. Obviously you won't know until you try, but at least you can have a better guess, right? Instead of just slapping the left side and then it's super bad and then you just fall and you, you you fall into lava or something. I don't know, I think that's how it works. Also, we're shooting in 4K today. First time I'm shooting 4K with this camera. Hopefully it looks cool. Or, it's, or it looks the same, okay. All right, tip number two. I didn't, I didn't add water, I almost put it in the microwave, hold on. All right, tip number two. Wait, what was I? I forget. Tip number two, hold orientation, right? So I kind of touched on it before. Wait, no, I didn't. I didn't, I didn't talk about it. Hold orientation, a route setter, so the person who puts the holds on the wall. So I'm specifically talking indoors, right? Because don't put holds on rock walls, okay. A route setter puts holds up on a wall and positions the holds uh, 
angle specifically for either your right hand or your left hand. So when you're on the ground, you can visualize what hand you think the route setter planned for you to grab that hold with. So if it's angled like, okay, this mitten, right? So this is where you grab. This is where you grab. I'm on a wall, can you see me? I'm on a wall and this is the hold and it's oriented like this and it's right above me and the route just goes straight up. I'm not gonna reach and grab it with my left hand because then I'm gonna be all crossed up, right? Just by looking at the angle of the hold, I'm gonna grab this with my right hand. Now, if it was this way, like this, then I'll grab it with my left hand. And if it's in the middle, maybe I go whichever hand and then match. So just being able to look at those small details can help you try and guess how to do the route before even getting on it, okay? All right, tip number three, chalk and shoe marks. Now this is actually like a kind of sneaky thing that maybe maybe some people don't really realize, especially the shoe mark thing. Where chalk is located on the specific hold of your route can tell you where most people are grabbing or at least trying to grab. So just like I was talking before where you're kind of looking from all angles and seeing, oh, maybe the right side of this hold is better. You can do the same thing with chalk if the holds are like, more higher up on the wall where you can't really like see exactly where the best side is. So you can look, maybe there's more chalk on the left side. So when you get up to that point, then you're gonna try and go for the left side because obviously people aren't gonna continuously try and grab like a bad side of the hold, right? So so the chalk on people's hands are, are gonna be put on that hold and stuff, okay? All right. So the next tip is, I forget, dang it. Just like chalk marks, you can also look for shoe marks. So since climbing shoes are rubber, the more people are stepping on holds and like making moves off of holds, it'll tend to leave a black mark onto, onto holds. So that can kind of help you plan out, like maybe people are using this hold as a foot, like during this certain section, or maybe like something that you thought was a handhold maybe it's just a foothold because there's so many black marks and stuff. My old coach taught me that and that was like when I learned that I was like that makes total sense but I, I just never really thought about it so you never know. Think it up. All right tip number f what are we on four? Four? Spot grip. Have you ever held on to a hold like that? I have. What can I say? Just kidding, why did, I'm gonna cut that out. Okay, tip number four, just climb more. Like, if you're struggling with figuring out beta and like you keep on falling on routes because you don't really know how to position your body and stuff, it'll come over time. So the more routes that you do and the more variety of routes that you that you present to yourself, that you, that you try and do, it'll constantly teach you new things to put into that mental toolbox, right? So maybe a route that you did in the past, there was like a certain move that you remember the holds being oriented like a certain way and you're like, oh, when I did that, my body kind of swung out and stuff. But like when I did this certain thing, it kind of helped me get past it. So just having gone through that, in the past, now when there's a route similar to that in the future that you recognize, you can be like, oh, maybe my body will swing out like it did in the last one, right? Getting better at reading routes is constantly just doing more. So over time you learn what works and what doesn't work for yourself, right? And even for me, like I'll watch a bunch of climbing videos. So I'll, I'll usually watch like the pro uh, competitions and stuff and I'll just kind of see and do the same thing even though I'm not specifically climbing the route myself, you can still observe the same concept. So you'll see holds in a certain way and then you'll see the pro climb it in that certain way. So the next time you go into your local gym and you see holds oriented like that, you'll be like, oh, this pro climber did that. Maybe if I try something like that, it'll work. Like especially before competitions and stuff, I would always, like it was kind of my tradition to always just watch. Um, ha, that's real hot. I would watch YouTube videos on the way to the competition of climbing competitions. That way that I can see different kinds of moves that they do. And if I see something like that as I'm climbing at the competition, then I can try and replicate it, right? At least I have something to do. So, yeah. Okay. <sighs> All right, my last tip for you. 
I forget, I have it written down. My final tip is talk with others. So when you're at the gym and you see people working on a route, even if you don't know them, you can still conversate to each other. Maybe they're struggling with a part of the route that you're able to do and then vice versa. So you guys can kind of talk about and trade beta with each other. That's like super key. Learning from others while you climb is the only way that you're gonna get better. Even if you're just kind of going through the gym and stuff, watch other people climb. Watch people stronger than you climb routes. You can learn so much from people so that like you can basically try and replicate what they're doing um, and improve on it and mix it with your own style. That's the only way to, to better yourself every day. So obviously if you're at a competition, depending on the competition, if it's like regionals and past that and all that, you aren't allowed to talk to people with beta. So then that's when you'd refer to all the other tips that I kind of taught you to try and help you climb the best that you can. So that's basically it. That's all the tips that I have. I'm sure there's more that I could give you. And if you have questions, you can always comment down below or message me on Instagram at 808BMA. And that's it. That's all I got for you. I hope that you, I hope this helps you out. I hope that you all are staying safe. And when everything goes back to normal, I can't wait to hear about all the routes that you're crushing and all the new tips that you have to better read routes and be able to get routes quicker, faster. That, that's synonym, that's synonym. Synonyms, synonyms. So that you'll be able to climb routes uh, with the least amount of falls. And obviously it's not bad to fall, but I'm just saying that like, if you're working on a project and all that, you want to be able to climb the route. So that's your main goal, climb the route. Being able to figure out the beta and figure out how you're gonna do that it can help. So thanks for watching. Uh, have a good day. Peace out, guys. This can't... Uh... Alright, so now that we have the vocab... So, yeah.